Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video. So if you like my video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So today I am going to finally get around to actually starting to do reviews of Future Avengers, which went from 2017 to 2018, which is a Japanese anime with the characters from the Marvel Universe. So Apparently, they got permission from Marvel to create this um, this animated um, an I'll say anime or anime. I'll just say anime uh, for the sake of this video. So it is actually in on Disney Plus. If you have the subscription, you can watch it. Nope. Uh, it, so um, I actually discovered this show through these. Um, animated music videos or AMVs which are really popular because a lot of times you're introduced to shows that you didn't know existed through these particular um, music videos that people put together and put on their channel. So I actually watched the first episode on YouTube before I realized that it was on Disney+. Plus. So the review is basically going to be about, so basically twice a week I will do a review of, of the show. And, uh, and you know, you can agree with the comments I make. You don't have to agree with it. That's totally fine. So, uh, I'm going to review the first episode of it and just basically not really go into too many details about the episode because I don't want to ruin it for people that have not watched it but I will definitely be talking about the animation style and everything so Hydra is so for the first couple of episodes I don't really know how far it goes into but Hydra is definitely uh, features in it so like the first episode we're introduced to um, four characters. I don't remember. I remember only one, and that is Cleo. I guess because she was so she's all spunky and everything. But they all each have individual abilities that are harnessed by Hydra, <clears throat> and basically they feed a lie that the Avengers are evil. And that they're being trained to basically fight uh, the Avengers. That's what they do. So Cleo's ability is that she can actually pretend or like imitate a person. Like she does it very well when she first encounters Kamala Khan or Miss Marvel. And I will get to this rendition of, of Miss Marvel in future videos. So yeah. <laughs> so... When we talk about um, Cleo and her friends, uh, they are all training to fight for Hydra. And as I said, they have each have individual abilities. Um, they gain their abilities through a green mist. Now, in the comics, the Terrigen Mist is considered green. It's actually written as it's a green mist. In this one, the Terrigen Mist is not green. This is from the uh, AMV I saw. It's actually a very pale gray or pale bluish gray. I, I can't quite get what color it is down. But the green mist that Cleo and her friends who later on become her, um, her, her fellow teammates gave them their abilities. I don't know if this is something that Hydra developed that does the same thing as a Terrigen Mist does, but it, it, was, an, it was an interesting concept in it. Um, the animation is really, really good for a children's television show. And one of the huge reasons I was really looking forward to actually sinking my somewhat good teeth into... Uh, this show is because 
I really like Japanese animation or Japanese anime. I really like, you know, all these different characters from all these different, like, you know, um, like My Hero Academia and, um, and Demon Hunter and Card Capture Sakura and all that. I mean, all these different kinds of it, like Face Stay Night. I really love Japanese animation. They, it is so wonderful. And you can tell it is Japanese animation because they have like the little, the little thing on the back of the head and, and, and all that stuff. And I just like how they draw these characters. And, you know, Cleo is cute looking and her friend is like a hot head and everything. Just the first episode was just awesome. And I really loved it. And I actually went ahead and watched the second episode, which will be in another video. But I just, like I said, I just really enjoyed the animation and every and everything. And, um, you know, it's like, you know, Cleo and, and her friend are trying to convince him, this, this little hothead with this wind ability that's, you know, that they all have been lied to. And it, it kind of, he, he kind of has to find out for himself how much he's been lied to. <coughs> um, what is really, is, what is, I consider the sickening part of the episode is these things that are around their necks that are designed to explode if they betray uh, Hydra. And it is, that is sick. I mean, that is just beyond sick. And I'm not talking about in a good way. I'm talking about in a bad way. I mean, just literally, this is how deprived and evil that Hydra is. They will actually blow people up uh, with devices around their necks. And it's just, I was watching this and I'm like, what the, are those, am I, am I hearing this correctly? There is a device around these kids neck that will make their bodies explode like oh my lord we all know hydra is you know sick and twisted and all that type of stuff but that is just as that is just a deprived low for hydra of course they're a criminal organization and they don't give a dang about anybody's um anybody but uh yeah it's it's sick it is absolutely twisted and sick so yeah so uh without going into any spoilers um overall i enjoyed like i said i enjoyed the animation i gave it five stars it is cute it is it's great for children to like or somewhat children can to dive in especially if they've never been introduced to japanese animation um very very well written great voice acting the words match the lips. I love that. So I will go ahead and do a review for episode two of the first season. There's only two seasons in the show, so as I said, every like twice, twice a week I will do um, reviews. So I'm going to here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.